This OMP Bighorn has to be my most beautiful RS airplane. I mean, I really dig this shiny blue uh, finish on this one with the yellow letters on it. I think it's just a fantastic looking RS airplane. I mean, it just differs from all my other RS airplanes. And this is currently my only balsa and plywood RS airplane. And this one just flies fantastic. Uh, I'm, uh, I mean, I just want to fly this again uh, and, and show more flights on it because I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a, almost a perfect RS airplane. So let's head outside and do another flight on this OMP Bighorn. It's a really lovely day today. No wind. Not too warm, maybe six or seven Celsius degrees. Beautiful sky, there's some light clouds. I do fly my big horn with reduced rates, so I have 85% rate on all surfaces and around 40% expo, which gives me the performance I like. It's still agile, but uh, you actually have some lee room, so you don't over control this one. And so far, uh, this setting has been working just fine. And the also the EMAC servos I have for aileron servos has so far also been working just great. And I have some uh, annoying warnings from the EC, which I just try to turn off, but uh, I mean it doesn't really work. Even if I turn it off it will just pop on, so I really have to maybe just swap back to the original ESC or just figure out how to turn off these warnings because it is a little bit stupid to have this annoying sound so let's just uh, do a touch and go I really like the colors on the big horn. It's a beautiful looking RC airplane. And also really easy to fly. It's much more fun and much easier to fly this one than the Night Timber X, for instance. Of course, the Night Timber X is really agile, but I dislike so many things about the Night Timber X. I mean, I like it in a way, but I also dislike it. I don't think it's a, you know, a nicely designed RS airplane. Too chunky. You really have to fly it on 4S to make uh, it come alive. This one, on the other hand, with a simple 3S 2200, it's just, uh, you know, fantastic. So let's uh, get it down again then. So, I mean, uh, it does bounce a little bit because the landing gears are kind of stiff. You can make it really smooth. So every time I increase throttle, the uh, ABN EC gives me warnings. So maybe this is a bad match for this OMP Bighorn. Because after like, you know, six minutes flights, I still have, you know, at about 3.7, 3.8 volts on each cell. So I end up at a good level, but uh, it somehow, I mean, maybe something else I have to adjust to uh, get rid of the uh, these warnings. It's really fun because this one has such an effective rudder, so when you're doing like stall turns, uh, it just it swings around just uh, instantly almost. So 
and just using the rudder and you get around really well in a stall turn. With my flap setting I have no ballooning whatsoever. Just uh, slows down. So if you want to fly slow, gentle, I mean you can do it. Or if you want to do you know, aerobatics, it is able. So just time to get this one down. I'm just tired of this easy alarm tones. And I tried to set it to voice, but it wasn't really possible. I mean, even going at this slow speed uh, and having some warnings, uh, there is something uh, you know not right with these settings. But uh, this surely is a great flying RC airplane, and I have to come back to this one, and probably I will you know either prop down or change the EC. Uh, because I really can't stand these tones, but nothing wrong with the RC plane, it just flies great. And I even have this reversing on the ESC, uh, which I you know, might not use, but uh, it's there at least if you want to have it. So, thank you for watching this video about the Wompy Bighorn.